Hey everyone, Jax here. I just have a few quick announcements before we begin this. Uh, the first one being that I will be doing live streams for the How to Succeed series. So that way I can incorporate questions that you might have uh, and then they might make it into the video. You never know. The other one is that I have purchased the Ultimate Colony Edition for Surviving the Aftermath, meaning I have bought all the DLCs. So I will be planning on doing something with that soon, but for now we're going to continue this on just the base game. Without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Hey everyone, we're back with our next installment of Surviving the Aftermath. My name's Jax, and we're on day 39. So far, so good. We're currently in the middle of the Winter Storm Catastrophe. Not a big deal, but it did put a hamper on our um, farming stuff. But as you can see, we've uh, done well to address the malnourishment uh, issue that we've been having. Uh, and what we did was we just started building a bunch of farms. But originally we had to solve it by building some small farms first in order to get things rolling. But let's go ahead and stop for a second because it looks like we got a bandit at the gate kind of waving his arms around. What's going on with this guy? He's trying to get our attention. So let's go ahead and see what he's see what he's wondering or asking for. It looks like he's a traitor. So let's see if he has anything good. He's willing to give us 14 cabbage for 30 mil. 12 parts for 30 plastic. That's pretty good. Could use the parts, but uh, right now we don't we don't really need it. Let's see if he has anything better. Uh, well, we kind of uh, upset him, so. <laughs> oh, well. Unfortunate, but it happens. I was hoping that he might have some uh, better deals, but not everyone offers better deals. And as you can see, that was uh, just the case right there. So, what we got going on here is, of course, we got our stockpiles of waste full. But, you know, with the help of the general storage, or we've got two now, that should help lighten up the load a bit. One thing I'd like to do is, I know that these are in the radius, but they're in the outer radius. So one thing we can do is we can actually upgrade the burner. And so I think, let's see what we got going on in terms of research right now. So, let's see. So we got advanced farming going, so that's perfect. Um, boom, boom. That's good, good. Went to concrete scavenging, perfect. If we're not researching anything, I think... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at what we got. Well, I think we're going to go with reinforced gate next. So, looks like with this green, I think that means we have it queued. So, yeah, let's let's stick to that for now, uh, because we're already in the middle of this catastrophe anyway. So having to upgrade it, then losing the heat could actually hurt our population. So we're going to just keep going forward with Reinforced Gate. And then um, after that, then we'll start we'll finally start going down infrastructure. I mean, I know we got the water pipes, but that was for uh, the cookhouse. But now we'll finally go all the way. I'd like to go all the way to wind power. So I think that's our next stop after Rainforest Gate. So let's go ahead uh, and let that keep rolling. And it looks like, let's check our firewood real quick. I think, um, I think they're, oh man, infection. Nine people are infected. Okay. Sounds like we need to build another medical tent. Because if people are dying, that is not good. So let's go ahead build one right here. Well, let's check first. Nope, we're good. Build a medical tent because we don't want people to perish. That is a bad thing. So we got to do what's good for our people. Make sure they're taken care of. Looks like we got a little bit of berries left. We got four berries, or now two on that uh, berry bush. Just like our water's pretty good. Let's see, it looks like our happiness isn't the best. They're still restless. So, man, oh man, where did the fun box go? Because I could have sworn we had a fun box. So, we have a scientist, and I'd like to keep a scientist around just because they have really good research, but I, I don't know if we should start trying to get a um, fun box outpost just because we need 
we need a little bit of that pull. So let's see if if we were to maybe if we were to send Kate out down here, you know, that would be pretty good for some science points. We could also, you know, get grab one of these. Um, oh, this is really good. 30 per 12. I mean, you can see the difference right here. The bottom middle. 16 per 12 and 30 per 12. So this would be a higher priority than this one. Let's see how this one is. This one's 30, so that one's a high priority too. Is there another science outpost anywhere? Here's one. 16, so that's not a high priority. So we do have a full stacked deck in a sense. Ah. <sighs> Maybe I should uh, uh -huh. maybe I should convert Jin when she comes back to a settler. I think that's what I'll do because I don't need too many scouts. I need I need fighters, scavengers, and scientists. And we only have one scientist. We have a few fighters and a few scavengers, but a bit more scouts than I'd like. I don't I don't need too many scouts. We already have plenty of that. So I think I think that's what we'll do. Looks like they're fighting. Man, I thought, thought she uh, does. She still have stuff. She just has. Yeah, she just has iodine pills. Did we not have fun boxes? Because right now our people are restless. Look! Oh, look at that. We're re re researching that finally. All right, so let's send her here. Let's just go ahead and get her to start handling this so bam she's going to get that with less technically two ticks of damage but less than that you know so she's going to handle that pretty quick same thing same thing here less than two ticks two ticks of damage okay. kind of uh looking 20 and then 30. so yeah she she'll take 50 damage but she should Finally. be fine let's go ahead and do that Mission complete. So this guy's scouting perfect should be done let's get this next one there's a 16, not the okay. greatest, but you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll take it. But yeah, so we should we should prioritize these uh, higher point research outposts. So maybe this one will be good for. I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I think the first starting two specialists are 500 cost. I think this person was a 500 cost, and Baron was also a 500 cost. So maybe those are our people that we start changing to settlers so that way we can start moving in uh, higher cost specials because we have a full full deck right now. We we can't really do much with them. I shouldn't say we can't really do much with them. It's more so we should make room for um, people that will provide more utility for their cost. Storages are full. I know. We also need to start the Doomsday Bunker, but... Oh wait, we got it right here. But it's not the highest priority, I would say. How may I help? Oh, is it already melting? Huh? So it looks like she is good to go, so let's send her out. And I think, I think this dude is ready as well. What's up? So let's see, who can she fight? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Um, do we need tools? No, we're, we're fine with tools. How are we on medicine? Yeah, we're good on medicine. Could use some antibiotics, so let's go ahead and send you up here. And I think we had the, the cookhouse over here. Yeah, we do. So they're making, uh, I think we should put one more right next to it to also get a plant-based one going as well. So let's go ahead and do that too. And we can have the cookhouses right next to each other. I don't think it's a problem. It's, um, it's nice because it's within the range of this thing. So kind of works out. Berries depleted. Well, finally, 
It's about time. Yep. Looks like we're uh, we're getting up of the tail end of the storm. So that's good. We can uh, relax on the firewood. Exit out of that. I would. S we we do need to get some fun boxes going. I I honestly don't know what happened with uh, Gloriosa. She must have dropped them and um, they must have poofed. I I don't know what happened, but you know they were they were sitting here. Or I think they were. And I guess they expired, which is weird because usually they just storm here. And it's not like, you know, they still have capacity, but I, I, I don't know. Kind of scratching my head at that one. That is very strange. Let's go ahead and fast forward. Because right now, not too much is happening. And we're, we're kind of limited on what we can really do right now by the technology of our time, which is... <laughs> that sounds like a Marvel reference, but... It's kind of true. We're kind of limited as to what we can actually do right now. So we got some cabbage. So let's go ahead and build another cabbage. Uh, let's make this one. Let's do corn. Nothing wrong with some corn. Let's fill these up. Make these a uh, potato. That's another cabbage, so this will be a potato. So we got two potato, a corn, three cabbages. So we'll make this another corn. But there we go. Uh, no free carries. Let's go ahead and kick someone out. We'll, we'll just kick these two out just to kind of get that. Make sure it's taken care of. More scouting, nice. Um, yep, yeah, we could use the antibiotics. So let's go ahead and have you do that first before you scout anymore. Very nice. You got it. Go here. We won the battle. Very nice. Went in those battles. Um, dang. Even at 100% scavenge, it's going to take four days and ten hours. It's a lot. Um, hmm. Medicine, we're gone, so we can go for the antibiotics. Yeah, well, right let's just do that. How are we on space? Or shelter? Hmm. We could build more tenements. They should be okay here. Forgot what the range of an improved burner is, but I think we'll see it soon enough once we're done with a uh, reinforced gate. And let's go ahead and upgrade that thing, because the thing is pretty sweet. Boom. Look at that. We got our lucky icon. New and improved gate with another slot for a person. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and queue this. We got just enough. And then let's go ahead and queue the solar power. Boom. And now is a perfect time to upgrade. Well, let's also think about this for a second. Because we were also thinking about moving our housing situation, right? We were thinking about seeing... Where could we place our new housing situation, given that this is a really good spot for fertile soil? Whoops, wrong button. We have a lot of fertile soil here, but we also have a lot of open space. So we're, we're, we're taking advantage of what we have here, but we can't because of the small pollution. There's pollution here, so we can build stuff over here. So with that being said, 
we want to find a spot that doesn't have pollution and is not necessarily a fertile soil area for it to be our new housing situation. This kind of looks good because it's just, I mean, this is also a nice area too. But that means we have to get rid of the trappers and then build new trappers. Metal posit depleted. Hold up. Are we, uh, we still metal? Okay, good. We we'll still have metal, so we're good there. But we need to we need to think about where do we want to place this? Where do we want where do we want this to be? And we we typically want our housing centrally located. Like, it's almost as if this is a great spot for housing. And the reason why that is, is because of how close it is to everything else. Because when people go to sleep, they disperse to their works sites, whether it's over here, over here, over here. So I typically have housing in one location just to make the efficiencies of burners a success. But, like, this this kind of looks like a decent area, but it also has this pollution. And this is a decent area, too. Yeah, this is a difficult situation. Situation. Um, um, um. Is there anything else you can do while you're up here, since you are a scavenger? You can get this fuel. Roger. There we go. Oh, one more. Mission complete. Yes. I think you're a fighter, right? You are. But looks like surprisingly this these would win. Oh, because there's eight of them. It looks like she would win this. But do I want to risk it? Because I think she's a I think she's like a 900 cost. I don't know if I want to risk losing a 900 cost. We'll just have her collect okay. these uh, this medicine on the way back. I'll call it good. Oh, this is a uh, this is one of those not tough decisions, but it's just it's just one of those decisions that you got to make, but you know you're not, you don't necessarily not left with any good options. It, it almost feels as if this is a good spot, just given that we're just... Okay, good. Okay, not good. Surprisingly, it seems like you don't have to repair fields. I guess it's like, oh, it's already tilt. Perfect. Whoa. That looks different, I don't remember. I don't remember this like tarp being in the back. I wonder if they like updated it. Or maybe I just never noticed it before. I don't know. So if I move those over, that means I would have to relocate this whole shebang. I mean, I could move them here. You know, build build them right here so then they can go here but then see this is probably why they're getting irradiated because they're walking right through this We've made huh. hey, cool we have here here this is yellow so I'm wondering if this is a better spot there so as much as I'd like science points we are a bit 
desperate in fun boxes. So I'm actually I'm actually gonna go for a fun box first. As much as I'd like to get that a science outpost or a or this one, we we really need a fun box outpost because we are really struggling in the entertainment part. So that's our next stop. Or at least our next goal, I should say. Let's have him keep exploring. Boom. Uh-oh. No more wood. Oh wait, that was intended though. Because we're trying to get rid of that. Okay, let's have them let's have them go here. But I don't like how close that is to this. I don't like how close they are to the pollution. Hmm. Should be okay. Should be alright. They're not they're not gonna be there touching the wood or the trees. So I think we should be alright. I think we should be safe. A, a van. Uh oh. Oh, this guy. Best deals store. It's our boy. Alone van. See what he's got. I think he's okay with us asking what else do you have. I think, I think the way the previous phrase was worded was, "Let me see your real deals," and that kind of threw them off. Man, this guy's caring too. Nice. Well, I guess you have to when you're a dealer and you have a bunch of goods in your van because we don't have any use for parts and I mean we're good on meat so let's see what else he can offer hey that's a pretty good deal I'll take that 25 medicine for 100 wood for a renewable resource for something that's not renewable until late game that's a pretty good offer I'll take that all day every day And he's off. We're finally getting our vegetables going, but it's it's taking a bit. It's taking a bit, but they're slowly but surely going to make it. We got another person. Let's go ahead and add you here and add one person here to kind of get those high efficiencies. But we're still at the impasse of where we want to put our people. Man. Oh man. I keep going back to this spot just because it feels like it might be the best, but then the only thing that's really throwing me off is the giant pollution here, and then eventually these are going to turn into polluting items because we're going to have to get them from underground. And I don't want to put it too far off. Like, Something over here would be nice to do, but then they're really going far off. I want it to be centrally located. Uh-oh. No more plastic. We could get that, but you know what? Let's just do it, because I know this is right here. Well, let's just, let's just get these instead, actually. Let's save that one for later. Maybe we'll have hazmat engineering by that time. Who knows? Okay. Back to what I was complaining about earlier. Solar fertility. I mean... What? Being attacked. Oh. I don't have any specialists here. But we got a few guards. Let's get you guys... What are we paying you for? Let's go. Yeah. Let's fast forward this. We gotta save our people. Oh, they better hurry up before this tower takes all too much damage. The bear broke his leg. Or their leg. I don't know if it was a guy. Boom! Easy. Now we got some free meat. Well, not free, I guess it cost us some medicine because people are attacked. No free carriers. Wow. Okay. Let's 
It's like we keep going back and forth on that. Job done. Hello. Whoa, I think you might be able to fight this dude. But should you? That is a question. Probably not. They'd be the best idea for, for you. I mean, you could risk it. I don't want to see you get hurt. So right now we're going to... Let's... I just want to upgrade this just to see. Well, I guess we don't need to upgrade. We can see it right now. So look at that. It would cover the outer rim of what we currently have. So the houses that we have that are in the smaller one would be covered plus some. So pretty good. And then we could also build up here and here and then down here. So one burner could theoretically, if we're like looking straight from down below, like if you're trying to like city plan, you can build easily another one here, another one here, another one here. So you get like almost four guaranteed and then you could arguably build another here another here and then maybe one and one here so eight who might be in the outer area they're like half covered half not so it's like you can easily get eight more buildings on top of the eight currently just in one spot pretty good deal if you ask me and then if you really stretch and stuff then you can move the you know if you're building a tenement here like you see how this line delineates right here if you build it one over so that way we could build a road we could technically build like a house here so that way people could still get past and so that would give us 10 buildings it's not bad But, ugh. wish I could like scroll out to the max so I know when I'm at the max instead of keep jumping to the map. We technically only need one of these working right now, so let's go ahead and have this person become a carrier because, yeah, we, we don't need, we don't need two. That was kind of, it's kind of wasteful. Man, I just keep jumping in my head where I, where I would want to play, place this new housing development. It, like, a perfect spot would be here. Assuming we get, get rid of all this pollution. But a perfect spot would be there. Because it's smack dab in the middle of... Dang it. Of our colony. And so then settlers can go to their jobs all over the map. That That would be the ideal way. Looks like this person right. is ready to build scavenging it. outposts. Let's do it. Outpost is now Boom! And now we can recruit someone. Let's hope for a uh, 900 cost, yeah? A scientist, 700. We'll take it. Recruit. Thank you. And let's go ahead and have you immediately go out, because we got some goodies that you could be researching my dude 12 oh my gosh his research is insane he's only going to take one tick of damage on a three hazardous level area his research is 350 science points every 12 hours all right man that is awesome Sometimes you get some really good deals on, you know, just a 700 cost unit. And that's, for a scientist, I you know, I think his stats are great. Yes. I mean, 350 science points per 12 hours. But if you look, he's got only 80 HP. So that's probably the cutoff. And I couldn't tell how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's not bad. But yeah, his, his HP is a bit low. His attack is only nine so it's not it's not even normal but a scavenge is 150 so 
I think it's a good deal, especially if you're just using them for, you know, getting science points. It's not a bad deal at all. And I mean, sometimes you get good deals on 500 costs, but most 900 costs are great deals. But we are... Oh, we should uh, we should actually do another trade. We're kind of getting a bit low on our funds. So let's see, let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we can get. Still unfriendly because we're not giving them what they want. Could buy the components to get better prices because we do need components. How much would that run us? You know what? I'll pay that just to get out of unfriendly because they've been kind of ups not upset but just unfriendly with us for a considerable amount of time and I don't like that and you can't go wrong with getting components so let's go ahead and we still don't have any use for rare metals so let's go ahead and sell the rare metals just a money maker for us we only have three but man 15 each that's it's pretty nice but we're also here to make money so let's see what else we can sell Sell some fiber. It seems like we're building up a bit of fiber. Let's sell 99. So now we're only paying six, but we still need we still need stuff. Maybe some venison. Let's try that. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Sell some venison. They don't like fish, so we don't want to trade fish because that would I don't know why, I guess it'd piss them off. But I mean, who doesn't... Well, I guess I can understand why people don't like fish, but... Fish can be tasty. Don't want to sell any of our... vegetables, just because... We're, we're just barely getting out of the whole malnutrition era. And I don't want to mess that up. We got vegetable meal. Did we start up? We should check that new cookhouse. Oh, we can sell the fuel. Perfect. Oh, man, look at that. 518? Heck yeah. Now we're making money. Because, again, we have no use for fuel. We don't We don't have any ability to make, you know, a mechanics shop or to refuel cars. All we could do with it is just sell. And that was the whole point of our specialist gathering that fuel. So we could sell it. So until we get a mechanic shop, well, just a money maker. Ah, you love to see it. You love to see it. Colonists are slowly going down in radiation, but I can see why they're doing it because they keep walking through this darn thing. So you know what? We have to build... Let's go ahead and build a road so they can stop walking through here and getting irradiated. Because we don't need that. We don't need that kind of... Oh, that was weird. Boom. Isn't there... Oh, there's not. Okay. Uh-oh. Let's have you go here. Stop walking through. Fine, I'll build a road right through the forest if I have to make it so you guys don't walk through this So building the extra medical tent helped us because now we can uh, we can properly address how many people are getting irradiated, sick, all that fun stuff. They're getting mutated because they keep walking through radiation. I think you know you know now that I think about it, I think we did find the. Uh, the source of why our people were getting irradiated. So hopefully with just two two carriers, they're gonna build that road and well it looks like they're doing it right now, but he built one they built one thing and then they called it good. So I don't I don't understand that. Whatever. They're getting it done. We'll we'll let them do it. We don't want to micromanage them. Oh, do we not have 
the next research we oh no we do okay so we'll go ahead and cue that too so then we're gonna hit solar power Ooh, but pavement caesars and pharaohs figured stone paved roads were the way to bring civilization to a settlement and keep their sandals clean faster movement on paved roads um yeah we'll go ahead and do it we'll switch the paved roads and stuff it's not too much of a thing to go off and do pavement before we go to energy storage we're not in a rush really Paved roads will, it's basically going to make everything here act like a, like a treadmill, pretty much. So I better see no one walking through. You people are driving me up the wall. I wonder if it gets better with pavement. Because maybe the AI realizes that it's faster to walk on paved roads as opposed to cutting across. I'm hoping that's the case. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay, cool. So yeah, the, it automatically did what we wanted it to do. So we built one for meat and we built one for vegetables. And that's, that's what we wanted. So that's why we already had built up some vegetable meal. Perfect. <clears throat> Mission complete. All right, all right. So she would take seven ticks. Yeah, she would go down. That's that is a no no. So we're gonna say no to that. Mission complete. All right. I think he would win. 15 damage. Is that what I'm talking about? 15 damage. 15 damage. 15 damage. I guess that's how they're doing it? I don't know. Let's try it, though. If it looks like he's not going to win, then we uh, we pull him back. But I think, I think that bar is more to the right. Well. Oh, yeah. We're also going to make you... Settler. Yep. So let's go ahead and have you. What's this one? Thirty. Yeah, there we go. How may I help you? Is that the fastest one, or is this it? Let's see. Ready. Oh, you can do this one in three. So let's let's do of that. Course. So that way we have a constant supply of science points instead of having to rely on scavenging for it. People are getting mutated. Where do they get other stuff? This one. Okay. A lot of mutations. Probably not a lot of... Uh... No, we have iodine pills. Why are they just not using it? Well. Man is 29, the rest is 29. And now, folks, we're trying. We got one! We only got one because of that uh, outpost. So it'll in 15 days we'll get enough or is it 12 hours it might be 12 hours so seven and yeah seven days at this point it'll we'll have enough i guess it's guaranteed at that point i don't know we have bandits at the gate bandits at the gate they seem desperate enough to do anything they seem pretty rowdy these people have clearly been through a lot they look frail, and they're likely easy to overpower. But the look on their they don't look afraid. They look, they look like they're doing decently well. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So I'm, I know giving a little food works, 
But I also want to see if giving a lot of food gives a boon. Let's try that. Oh, they give us money? <laughs> I should have done that sooner. I had no idea they would give you money. 300 silver for 30 potatoes. That's probably the best deal I've had. Why, like, if they needed that, why didn't they just, why didn't they just use a silver to like, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. My pleasure. This one's about it. Just seems like they could have used the money for what they needed. Okay. All cleaned up. Because I think they're only doing that because there's bandits at their own camp. And so they said that, oh, we're forced to do this. It's like, well, if you guys are forced, then why don't you just give them 300 currency to get them out. I don't know. This guy's got a lot. Let's Good. let's send him back. We don't want to risk losing it. Should think about what which one we want to send next. Um I think Polo is a 700 cost and so is Orca. Is there a way to see their stats? 9, 150, 90, 20, 150, 90, or 12, not 20. I can't remember. But should probably get rid of one of the scouts. Maybe this one because I know they're a 500 cost and same with Baron. I know these are both 500 cost. The mutations just keep rising. Oh, Lucy's back, man? Look who it is. How you been? Whoa, why is this 28 or 38? That's weird. It says 30, Your orders. but then if you go here, it says 38. Not that I'm complaining about more points, right? But why does it say it's more? Whatever, I'll take okay. it. Yeah, I. it's driving me up the wall. Like, if I could just, like, hold down, like, shift, and then, see, it's, it, it, I just wish it didn't do that. You know, it's funny when I first when I was first playing this game and I had this and I saw Nuclear Beast, assuming that it was like actually a what's it called like a, like a survivor game. Like I thought I had to fight a monster that was like irradiated. Like think like Fallout. I don't know if you ever played like the Fallout series, but I thought it was going to be like a beast from Fallout, like a a Death Claw or something like that. And I was like, oh man, I don't know if I should do this. And I I'd always abandon it, but. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Have you been here for long for my uh, predicament with the whole um, housing situation? I've been trying to figure out like which spot would be best. Right now, I want to move this stuff because I want to use it as a farming area. Because as you can see, we got a bunch of you know good soil right here. But the problem is, it's also pretty much the only spot that, well, isn't completely covered by radiation or has underground plastic or metal and isn't covering up at least a decent level of fertile soil. Thinking over here, thinking this might be probably my only spot. I could relocate these buildings too, but then we have all this underground plastic, so it's a tough decision. We've made a new discovery. You know, I it's difficult because I've I've tried playing like the bad guy. I tried like what you're saying, like I always go back to, you know being the good guy. I tried playing the bad guy in plenty of like role playing games. It's it's downright impossible for for me at least like I just feel bad being like a jerk, you know, like it's it's just really hard. So when I see people at the gate 
asking for food and I know I have plenty or like, even if like I'm struggling with my own food, I'm just like, ah, dude, they need it. You know, like I need to help these people out. I'm like, I got to help them. Okay. So you, yeah, you, so you did hear that. I, I'm thinking like, this is the best spot. So I think, I think once I get at least some level of, um, energy production, I should probably, should probably maybe switch over to, what you call it? Hazmat engineering. Because <laughs> I need to, I need to start working this area. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think that's a move. I take in everyone. I, that's just me. I, I take in everyone just because, I think it's really beneficial just to have a large amount of people. But that also comes with higher food costs, higher water costs. Uh, more housing. I mean, right now we only have six, so it comes at a cost, but sometimes it's best to not take people in. Man, this for a normal game, this map has a lot of bandits. Sure thing. Mission complete. I feel weird sending her back because she's got 72. Okay, okay whatever. All done. We'll do it. Okay. Yeah, you can see if um, you know recent death appears, the happiness goes down. There, um, I think it goes under comfort because recent death. How are? I don't get how are people hungry and starving when we have plenty of food. It's like, do you just go to a stockpile? Go to anywhere. And just pick up some food. I mean, there's some berries right here if you really need it. I never understood that. It's like, do I have to build? Do I have to build more food stockpiles for them to access it? I don't know. An old nuclear power plant looms oh. in the distance. I thought that was something I had to click. What is this? What are you dropping here? Wood? Just dropping random wood? Look, we got our first solar panels up. No point in building them, though. Just because... Well, I guess we could build it, but we don't have any buildings that need it. Food sources are too far. Like, food storage or food... <laughs> Two of these. I thought, I thought by having this, like, see, I have venison all the way here, and then fish here, and then even here. So it's like, and then we even have this being done. I was hoping that that they would grab it. Okay. So they went here to grab the food. That's interesting. They went to the food storage. They didn't they didn't go here. They didn't go to the general storage, which also had food. But I'm wondering if it's they went here because there's meals. Huh. Now I'm wondering if I need to build food storage all over. I thought general storage was good enough. Maybe I've been wrong. Okay. Interesting. 